are certainly a few Manchester United scarves in there, and I do detect the uh, blue and white one in the middle as well. Those are the hardy souls who've stayed on. The foot on the ball belongs to, to Brian McClare, and the game is underway with Manchester United in the red shirts and black shorts. Everton familiarly in blue and white. And this, of course, a repeat of the 1985 Cup final. And ten of the players out there at the moment figured in that game. Among them the one goal scorer, Norman Whiteside. Yeah, Norman Whiteside wearing six today. He was wearing ten on that occasion. There he is, eager for some action. A bit of a robust challenge from Whiteside. Never known to be backward in coming forward in that direction, but he's conceded the free kick. And here's Reed. Hounded by three Manchester United players. And Alex Ferguson looks in very jocular mood now. Chewing away. by Watson and a first chance here for Everton to exert some pressure on the United goal and Duxbury has to be alert working the ball back to Chris Turner Duxbury's ball inside is met by Rob Sorrell who'd come deep to collect it and ball given well these are two of the oldest adversaries in football Certainly would have provided a worthy final list. Manchester United against Everton. Especially with Liverpool out of the contest. Oh, and uh, that was uh, very awkward indeed. The clash there between Poynton and Reed, And it's got Strakowskin sprinting away down the right touch line. Now a good cross here and Everton will be in trouble. But, uh, he waited a little bit too long. Now has to bring Duxbury back into it. Everton move out, trying to play the offside game. Robson short ball to Wilson. He gets it back from Duxbury now. Again lines Robson up maybe for the shot. I thought he was going to have a dip then. And he might still with his left foot. Super shot from Robson. The save matched it. Oh, well, that was vintage Robson. He lined himself up. And with that short trigger of his, Brian Robson really laid into this one. He laces this shot and Southall makes a spectacular save. Still there here with Olsen. Good cross, no, it's uh, cut out by Gary Stevens. Promising start by United. And from behind the goal, that's the picture we can show you. As Strachan curls another one in, a little bit flat, but they're trying to lay it back for McClare. And Bruce did well. Steve Bruce, who joined United from Norwich City, has got four goals this season. Only one of them in that red shirt. It's on the Everton bench. It's all peace and quiet at the moment. Colin Harvard, Terry Darracott in the middle, and John Clinkard. Oh, McClare, lovely turn. Duxbury trying to thread it through for McClare. Well played uh, by Brian Robson, the England captain, looking in his best shape today. 
rolls that ball away from Peter Reid in fury hitting that the opposition. And nicely done, but uh, McClare is offside by about a yard. Brian McClare just going too far up front that time. Didn't quite read the ball right. So Adrian Heath now for Everton, and he's got Wilson out on the flank. And we've not really seen Everton as an attacking force, but Poynton was sprinting forward, asking for the pass. It didn't let it come to Heath here, outside the area, and Heath. Have a lot of power behind the shot. down through the middle and McClare was making a run but the ball didn't come instead it ricocheted and went straight to Heath and it's given Everton the chance to uh, get men forward here as Clark nods it down Heath onto Stevens still they're coming in numbers Everton but well it was fortunate it came away from Brian Robson and now Olsen sets off through the middle he's so exciting when he does that and it's a lovely weighted pass for McClare he'll run at Watson Strachan screaming for it on the far side and here he is smallest fellow on the field as well and Davenport shot well it wasn't tamed but Southall made it look so and it was a nice ball played in by Strachan Davenport shot and well he made it look easy Southall so Alex Ferguson is uh, looking a little bit lost for words at the moment Kevin Moran behind him would hardly need reminding he was the first man ever to be sent off of course in a cup final five minutes of the first half are left that looks suspiciously like handball by Peter Reid but referee Applin didn't think so so Everton have a bit of a chance here United's tackling is good and crisp oh, it's like a game of chess is this Must be a free kick against Gibson. <laughs> Stevens drills it in and Clark's up there right across the face of goal. It's only needed a touch. Clark in such a good position. And he got a good angle on the header, really. As Gary Stevens floated it in, Turner stayed on the line, and Clark coming in here puts it right across the face of goal. Very, very close for Wayne Clark. Under four minutes to go. As you can see here, as it comes up to three and a half minutes. But not a goal in sight. Well, Wilson's uh, ball easily intercepted by Robson and Strachan. He tries to get McClare through the middle, and well spotted by Southall. Now it's Reed who's giving it away to Gibson. And the tackling has been exemplary in this match so far. As a result of which, uh, there's been no space anywhere. Sensible refereeing. Allowing play to go on because Snowden has gone offside. got away from Poynton and now 
crowd, there is a chance in McClare, sprinting clear, Watson's got to go with him, there are men in the middle, and here's one of those men, Steve Bruce! Bruce rolls it home. And it's only the second goal he scored for Manchester United, and what a good place to get it. Well, once McClare was free, Everton were always struggling to get back, and Bruce rounded it off. McClare's pace taking him clear of Watson. He still had the perception, though, to put that ball across absolutely perfectly for Bruce. The finish was quite excellent. And the first goal of the game goes to Manchester United and to Steve Bruce. And Everton retaliating straight away with Dewey. Going for the return, didn't come. Not much more than a minute left in this half. <laughs> glory, glory, Man United is the champs behind me. But Clark here for Everton tries to do something about that. Heath for Wilson. Now Peter Reid. He found pointed in the gap. Easily away by Gibson, though. And Watson will take that all the way back. One down, no point in taking any more risks. the closing seconds of that first half as McGrath knees the ball away <laughs> referee blows the whistle 20 minutes gone 20 to go and it's Steve Bruce the former Norwich City man who has given Manchester United that priceless lead it was a well-taken goal, and the Manchester United supporters certainly appreciated it. So, half-time, Everton nil, Manchester United one. for Clark oh a lovely ball from Clark to Wilson it was right into his path he couldn't control it first time unfortunately for Everton so Snowden is in now uh, well intercepted by McGrath and a good ball played towards Whiteside as well didn't quite have the legs to get there ahead of Snowden a minute of the second period and Everton playing the ball around as they do so patiently in the build-up still probing looking for an opening they might find one here Heath tries to wriggle his way into a shooting position good timely tackle by uh, Steve Bruce though but pointed now for Everton they really are streaming forward Wilson Trying to give it back for the fullback. The ball's going to run out of play. But Neil Poynton is a very sprightly sort of fullback who loves to get into those attacking positions. And Everton need everybody up there now. Clear blue sky, as you can see here at Wembley. Floodlights on. And Chris Turner, who's two previous clubs, Sunderland and Sheffield Wednesday have both been playing here awaits the substitution with Clayton Blackmore entering the fray and it's 
Mike Duxbury who's gone off. He's in fact hobbling off over on that far side. Yeah. Yeah. Robson can't keep control of that and Everton have got a lot of men up but I'm not sure what Wilson was attempting to do there but he didn't do it very well so Mike Duxbury just explaining to Jimmy McGregor what the problem is <laughs> Clark just well to shield that ball and retain possession but Harper's lost it to Whiteside. He too looks unhappy. Olsen now. And for Brian Robson. Oh, and that was fortunate for United. It came away from Strachan, and he's inside the area. Beautiful play from Strachan, and almost dribbled into his own goal by Poynton. But Strachan clearly enjoyed that. The ball seemed tied to his toe end. And it was played into his path here. And just watch how he keeps control of this ball under very trying circumstances, and it's Poynton who takes it to safety. Yes, for Olsen's corner. Bruce is calling for it on the far post. Davenport is underneath the crossbar. And McClare here couldn't just get his head to it. So the blue shirts come away with it. And Heath has stayed onside. Now there's only McGrath over there. But uh, on the other hand, only Watson is up in support. Heath can't find Watson either. And the ball away is picked up again by Snowden. Laid into the path of Harper. A good challenge back by Davenport. Well, it's a real hive of activity over on the far touchline. Paul Power is one of the Everton substitutes. O'Brien for Manchester United is on. The two Everton players to have gone off are Ian Wilson and Alan Harper. And Neil Adams is the other Everton sub on. So Power, Adams and O'Brien all on. Paul Power will welcome the run here on familiar ground at Wembley. Alex Ferguson, of course, was coming south from Aberdeen last year. is longing to win a major trophy for Manchester United. And you get the feeling that United are just playing for time a little here. They know because of the giant electric scoreboards at either end of the ground that there are only seven minutes to go and five seconds. Yes, yes, yes. It's been an effective display by Robson in midfield. And again, McClare will chase here with Van den Howe. Pat Van den Howe. Olsen 
was allowed really to uh, keep that ball away from Van den Hal, and he's found O'Brien, now Strachan, and on the far post is McClare, it's just kept away from him by Stevens. That was a wholehearted tackle, all right, between Adams and Robson. O'Brien turns away from his man, O'Brien threads his way through, it was almost Ricky Villa style, that. And in the end, Robson... Again, Warren Robson midfield. Just pings that ball about and uh, finds Strachan now. Uh, really, all that's happening here is that United are denying Everton the ball and El Olsen is showing us his gymnastic capabilities. And, uh, <laughs> he and Ian Snowden are exchanging a few Danish pleasantries. And there is Olsen. A difficult man to stop. Then Oles Neville Southall just prowling off his line. United have five minutes to add to their lead. Everton have five minutes to get an equaliser. For the moment, Robson. And there's a kind of hush in the crowd at the moment. O'Brien finds Strachan once more out on that touchline and a superb run by McClare who takes it magnificently well the net shook the ball came away from the underside of the crossbar but that really did show the capabilities of Brian McClare at his best it was a shuddering effort Brian McClure has certainly made an impact on the English game in his first season after leaving Celtic. And just look at this for ideal centre-forward play. He fairly smacks that one in. No wonder the net is shaking. <laughs> Kevin Ratcliffe in defence. Clark will try to the end. And it's going to require some real inspiration now. With only just over a minute on the clock. And it's away, but not very far. United, of course, always dangerous on the break, and they've an opportunity of one here. Fumbling their man back now, though. Strachan. Oh, he's bowled over by Adrian Heath. Two of the smallest fellas on the field. Inchi Heath, as he's known in the game. Couldn't complain about the awarding of that free kick. United obviously feel the safest place for the ball is in the hands of goalkeeper Chris Turner. So Manchester United are 30 seconds away from a semi-final place. Good running by Davenport. Enabling United to keep possession with only 10 seconds left as Strachan wins a corner. And the only question is really, will there be time to take it? Only a little injury time for Nice perhaps to be added on. A view from behind the goal. And United won't be in too much of a hurry. And in fact, the referee has already blown the whistle and a wave of the arms tells us 
that Steve Bruce's goal has been sufficient for Manchester United to beat Everton 1-0 they're through to the semi-finals there was a fine performance by Brian McClare up front and his thunderous effort which rocked the Everton crossbar the highlight of the game perhaps and the final scoreline again as Manchester United take their place in the semi-finals it's Everton 0 Manchester United 1